What's up everyone? I know a lot of you out there are probably thinking the same exact thing I'm thinking and that's yes finally a built not bought episode. So yeah it seems like every one of my cars have come down with the case of the COVID. I don't know which one had it first. I believe my daughter's car had it first with the head gasket possibly. Then the blue RS caught it. So we swapped the blue RS, took the motor that was in there, refreshed it, put it in my daughter's car. And what that has done, it's given me time to now line up what I need in order to fix the bucket. Because apparently it was starting to lose power. I heard some noises. So what we believe it may be is the thrust bearing, possibly the valves, bad head job. So I've reached out to my good buddy, Vince Griffin at Rally Spec, who is gonna be building the short block and as well as Metro Performance, Mr. Dan, who's gonna be building my heads. I've also contacted Ruben at SoCal Porting, who will be refreshing my turbo. I plan on doing some upgrades, so I've reached out to Corbin at Johnson Tuning, who will be flying in to do the dyno tune. So let's get this bucket loaded on the trailer and off to Metro Performance, where we're going to be doing all the work. So be stoked. Built Not Bought is back. I got your trailer, but it has this white tumor on the back of it. Oh, the poor thing. Oh. The poor thing is sick. It's we'll make the, it all better. It's got the COVID. <laughs> so Julian over here, he helped me unload the car. And I thought we were just going to put it in its little happy spot for now. But he's like, are we yanking this thing out yet? Okay. I'm like, I mean, I kind of got to go home and edit a video for you guys. But if you guys can wait, I can wait. I can Bye-bye. And out come her guts. Oh, we got a bleeder. It's coming out of that far back hole there. Yeah, four? Yeah. Could be a valve seal or a guide. Well, it's coming out no matter what. Yeah, Vince, welcome. What's up, everybody? Looking to get this thing back on the road ASAP. Yeah, so Vince built the short block. It's here. It's actually in the bed of the truck now. We're driving it over. Lance is going to get the other block apart, yeah. figure it out. Whatever it was, it wasn't me. I didn't do it. <laughs> yeah, it's never his fault. Nothing's his fault. There she is. Metro Performance. About to have us some fun. Mr. Dan. Good morning. Vince, Dan. Dude, bro. You don't get dirty eventually. <laughs> you right Good to yeah, meet you yeah. too, brother. Heard a lot about you, man. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, you're pretty fucking cool. stout. <laughs> yeah. well, Word is. We'll see what happens, yeah. man. So, student, master, you're going to teach me. Absolutely, no problem. Because I've been doing this since 1974. Oh. Hey, if I so, can learn something from you. No. Hold on, hold on. No. Student, master. Teach. Where the fuck's that leave me? You're a car owner. Oh, car I'm, owner. Just, <laughs> I'm just a videographer, <laughs> I guess, driver. today. You got the mechanics out of that. What's up, Monica? Oh, yeah. hey, Bucky. Good morning, honey. Monica? Monica? Yeah. Pleasure Good to meet pleasure you. Pleasure to meet you. Absolutely. Welcome. I can't wait, yeah. to, uh, can't wait to start jamming here. Yeah. Well, it looks like you guys pretty much have everything ready to go. We do. Special delivery, huh? Yeah, buddy. There we go. funny, packing it on one coast and unpacking it on the other. Here it is.
girl for you. So what do we have here, Vince? What we got here is uh, we got a B25705 casting, which is from STI. Um, basically, we got a set of Manly Turbo Tough pistons in here. We got a set of Manly H Tough rods and brand new super nitrated crank. Um, it's got calico cleavite rod bearings in it. It's got uh, King XPG main bearings in it all blueprinted all that stuff so she should be a happy little girl once we get her in we talk about everything else being happy what about me what about me you're gonna be happy babe don't worry you're gonna be happy everything's gonna be all right we're in good hands <laughs> Dude, this place is sick. I can get it down with these people. All right, so it's head time over here. We got Dan the man. We Explain to, to us what you got, what we you We had to get some new here. cylinder head castings and the valves we couldn't resurface anymore. Uh, same thing with the seats. So we ended up going with Brian Crower valves and valve springs and new head castings. And this should work out really sweet, real sweet. Everything done in house. Love what you do, you never work a day in your life. That's right. On she goes. Who's the hero? Vince. Here we go. Dan the man is the hero. In there, boom! Thank you. Loop. So the master just oh. just pulled this I guy out, it. and uh, yeah, usually when I'm setting my stuff, I use an adjustable on the flats of the crankshaft here, and this guy just pulls this thing out. I'm like, I need one of these. I've been doing this for like ten years. I've never used one of these. I've never even seen one of these. So, yeah, this is cool shit. I like that. Nice and smooth. Bam. Nice little squeeze out of there. And then basically what we do here from the factory it tells you that you want to put a bead across the half moon here it tells you you want to put a bead across the half moon here like so now what I do is I seal this up and I leave this like so for a minute or two and while I let that kind of vulcanize I go over to the Spark well gaskets, and I dab a little C B to RTV on here like so, so that the spark plug wells always stay nice and dry. So even if the gasket wants to dry up and get brittle over time, still got a little bit of added security there to keep stuff dry.
tie up to you like a little bit more. Right there. Hell yeah, brother. Hey, um, you need to just like right there. Right there? Yeah. Let's make sure it's centered. Dead tits. Dead center. Can you count? Yep. Yep. Come on down. Good. Yep. Go on down. All right. Hold. Go ahead. Good. Yep. Okay. That's it. Stop your crew. We're in. She went to her home. We're home. That's We're it. home. We're home. Here we go. We're home. Home. Well, we're, we're done. Start her up. Later. Well, see you oh, later. Big dog, boy. That's fucking awesome. All right, so one of the upgrades that we're gonna be doing to the bucket is a Grim Speed top mount intercooler, which should give us, you know, a few more HPs, right? Flow a little bit more air. Yeah, that along with the Radium uh, dual fuel pump setup. It's keeping things cooler too. So. And that and that freshly Vince built block. Oh, damn. Uh, right now we're just buttoning stuff up. Uh, we're about to test fit the intercooler, figure out where we got to put the bunk for the IAT. Once that's knocked out, we can pull it back off, put her in the air, finish tightening up stuff in the bottom, throw the engine mount nuts on, throw the downpipe on, any other loose ends under there, put her back down, throw the intercooler on, fill it with fluids, and have a good time. All right, sounds like a game plan to me. the passenger side of the intercooler in the back was basically not sitting flush because of the AC line. So we got rid of the AC line and then all we basically had to do was bend the bracket at the base and then kind of tilt the ears up a little bit and she's sitting pretty. So as soon as he gets that AC line remade, then we'll be sitting pretty with AC once again. But I mean, <laughs> race cars don't have AC. <laughs> yeah, and winter's coming up. AC's for <laughs> oh, you're filming already? Yeah, man. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> Even though I'm not going to have AC, I woke up at 2.30 in the morning just picturing this in my head on how beautiful it is. It's almost done. Yeah, man. Time to rock. Yeah, boy. Little fat daddy coil rub. I'm back here with Danny boy, where he's gonna weld on the bung, ba bung, bung, bung for the good old speed density. Yes, sir. Rattle can time. That should pretty much do it right there. Are we doing this? Are you doing it or am I doing it? I don't know. You, you got you it? Want, bro. Let's go. Well, come on. Wall, put it on. Come on, bitch. She fits good. Like a glove. So we just finished priming the motor. And Vince here is actually, I think, going to start it up for the first time. This is it right here. You ready? and she's done. Hungry fella? <coughs> All right, I figured, you know, first startup, we got to celebrate with a little skate session. So we're here at uh, Tony's place and we're going to go get a little skate session and Vince is going to get introduced to Tony for the first time. And he's Let's just say he's a little excited about that. Ah! <laughs> Fucking crazy, dude. Is this happening right now? Welcome to the nest.
so good. Thanks for visiting us at our ramp. What? That's for you, buddy. Are you kidding me? It's got your name on it. <laughs> <laughs> right on, man. Dude. Yeah, Vince. Thank you so much. Yeah, man. you're welcome. No what an honor to be cool. here, dude. This oh, is thanks. Like... I'm glad we had someone else left. You son of a bitch, dude. <laughs> you scallywag. Oh, my God, man. I don't know what to say, man. I was happy enough just coming here. Dude, thank you guys, yeah, no both worries. of you. Thank you. Cool. Thank you. Well, uh, yeah, I can't even talk. I'm glad that we have some of those Those are those went fast. This is crazy, dude. Right on. Tony yeah. Hawk just gave me a skateboard. <laughs> dude, how's that? Yeah, that was pretty crazy. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, I got a board from Tony, which is really awesome. And I busted my ass on his ramp, so I'd say <laughs> Pretty much, we got the full experience here. Yeah, unfortunately, I didn't have the camera on, but Vince was like, <laughs> "Yeah, I'll scale. I was like, "Yeah, you're fine to skate." Now you're done putting my motor in, cars running. Like, yeah, go for it. He's like, "Badunk!" I was like, "Oh shit, I didn't film that." <laughs> About to go do some. Uh, I guess we call it a minor shakedown of the bucket. Make sure that she's running okay, no boost. We don't have any gas anyway. Yeah, so buzz around the block is all we're getting. <laughs> I'm not gonna, it's more of a buh. <laughs> Well, that's it. The bucket is ready to rip. Now it's time to hand it over to Corbin at Johnson Tuning. Thanks, guys. Welcome. Welcome. I saw the video. Thanks, Bucky. Thank you. 400 or bust. We're coming back on this lift if I don't get 400. God damn it. Just keep hitting the plus button, dude. That's all we got to tell all of <laughs> Just keep hitting the plus button. <laughs> 